Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome back to Kalkine TV. This is Sage, your host, live from the Sydney studio, and you're watching the Mid Market Pulse. Let us zoom our lens on the Australian share market's performance today. The Australian shares are on the rise, defying the weak cues from Wall Street, led by gains in the blue chip mining and energy stocks. And while the surge in the oil price boosted the energy stocks, the stronger iron ore and gold prices propelled the material stocks. However, the market gains were capped by sharp losses in the tech space especially the buy now, pay later players amid the concerns about rising competition from PayPal and Apple. The S&P ASX 200 was up by 20 points or 0.27% at 7,352 by the afternoon. The index opened on a flat note and gained as much as 0.5% to hit a high of 7,368 during the day's trade so far. The persistent concerns about the COVID-19 situation in the country also kept investors on their toes and in a new development the COVID lockdown affecting Greater Sydney and its surroundings has been extended until 11.59pm on Friday, July 30th. The decision was taken to control the spread of the coronavirus after 97 new locally transmitted COVID-19 cases were recorded in New South Wales in the past 24 hours compared to 89 registered on Tuesday. And moving on now to the sectoral space, nine of 11 indices were trading in the green by lunchtime. The utilities and energy were the best performing sectors with over 1% gains, followed by materials which rose 0.9%. And among others, consumer staples, industrials, telecom, consumer discretionary, A REIT and financials were trading higher with modest gains. And on the flip side, the information technology sector was the worst performer, falling over 2% in line with the US counterpart NASDAQ. ASX listed BNPL players witnessed a sharp selling in the tech sector as fear of stiff competition from their global players left investors jittery. The share price of Australia's largest BNPL firm after pay fell 8.5% down to $108 Australian in the opening trade. And in a similar trend, Zip shares dropped nearly 9%, down to $7.50 Australian, while shares of ASX listed Sezzle nosedived more than 9% to $8 in the opening deals. The share price of split at payments slipped 3.6% to 53.5 cents. Similarly, shares of other BNPL players, such as Hum Group, and OpenPay Group also witnessed the selling pressure. And on that note, let's now turn our attention to the biggest gainers and losers that gained the investors' attention by the mid-market session. The gold mine Evolution Mining Limited was the top percentage gainer on the ASX pack, surging over 4%, reaching $4.80 Australian. Some of the other top gainers were seven group holdings, lithium chemicals producers Oracoba Miner, Romelius Resources and gold producer Silver Lake Resources. And on the flip side, global payment solution firm Zip was the top loser on the ASX pack, falling nearly 9%. Some of the other worst performers include BNPL, Major Afterpay, Australian Rare Earths mining company Linus Corporation and medical device firm Polynovo. And now let us take a quick break, but please stay tuned on Calkine TV as I'll be back with the ASX listed shares that are creating the buzz today. New Zealand is unique, and Kalkine TV is here to bring you all the latest news and trending market updates. Streaming across multiple platforms, so no matter where you are, whether it be at the beach or on the farm, you can count on the team here at Kalkine TV to be your home for accessing the latest valuable insights into global issues that are affecting New Zealanders. Subscribe to our channels across YouTube, Facebook, also visit kalkine.co.nz. Welcome back, viewers. Thanks for joining us. Sage here, live from the Calkine Studios in Sydney. And you are watching the Mid-Market Pulse. Let us look at the ASX stocks, which are creating the buzz today. To begin with, the fintech firm Hum Group has reportedly entered into a joint venture agreement with Redbird Ventures Limited, a subsidiary of Westpac, New Zealand. The joint venture will deliver its buy now, pay later product bundle to the New Zealand consumer finance market and the arrangement gives Redbird the option to take an equity stake in bundles New Zealand. The new partnership is the first global contract of HUM with MasterCard. It is expected to make bundle available to New Zealanders. The share price of HUM was down 1.5% to 
at 99.5 cents in line with other BNPL players, which fell on concerns over rising competition. And let's now take a look at the next company. Shares of Downer EDI rose nearly 2%, up to $5.60 Australian, after the company secured two contracts worth $280 million Australian dollars from the state-owned broadband provider NBN. The leading provider of integrated services in Australia and New Zealand stated that the N2P Evolution contract commences in July this year with the initial term through to December 2023 and an extension option of two years. It's valued at $160 million Australian dollars over the initial two and a half year term and under the contract Downer will provide design and construction services across New South Wales and Western Australia to support NBN's plans to extend the fibre deeper into communities. And moving on now to the next share, shares of fund platform Premium surged over 13%, up to $1.10 Australian by the lunch on posting record quarter and flagging asset sales. The group has posted record quarterly adjusted inflows of $1.2 billion to take the total funds under administration to $41.7 billion as of June 30th. It also announced plans to put its international business up for sale and flagged prior interest from buyers. And as of June 30th, the international business had $5 billion in funds under administration. Let's now look at the next company in the news today, gambling services provider Bluebet Holdings. Gained as much as 7.6%, reaching $1.77 Australian, its best intraday percentage gain ever. The company shared it has signed a partnership agreement with Iowa-based licensed wagering operator Dubuque Racing Association. The agreement allows Bluebet to conduct its online sports book operations in Iowa to extend the existing casino licence. And moving on again to the next company, shares of pharma company AFT Pharmaceuticals climbed nearly 2% up to $4.35 Australian on getting regulatory approvals on the Maxigesic oral liquid. The drug maker said it has successfully obtained its first regulatory approval of Maxigesic oral liquid and the approvals have been received in Italy and Malta and AFP now expects further regulatory approvals. AFP's Maxigesic oral liquid is a child within the age bracket of 2 to 12 years targeted novel non-opioid treatment for pain and the drug is an extension to the Maxigesic family of patented formulations. And moving on now to the next ASX listed share, Hexima shares rose over 9% to 18 cents after the biotechnology company secured a European patent. The company will receive a European patent covering Pezadeftide for the treatment of onychomycosis today. The patent provides broad protection covering the therapeutic use of pezadeftide. In addition, it also covers topical formulations containing pezadeftide for the treatment of onychomycosis. And next up, the share price of Mining Explorer. Lachlan Star jumped over 4.5% to 4.5 cents. The company has updated the encouraging results from the recent geochemical sampling at the Kujan Copper Nickel PGE project joint venture with Liontown on Wednesday. And now it's time for another break, but please do stay tuned with Kalkine TV as I'll be back with the ASX listed shares that are creating a buzz today. This is Andy Liu broadcasting from Calkine Media Studio in Australia and I'll be hosting the new Calkine Wellness Show. The half hour show will cover topics from how wellness as a concept has become even more significant during COVID to how becoming vegan may improve your health and much more. We are excited to showcase our live streaming show to our audience of millions overseas and in Australia. Tune in to Calkine TV and join me. Welcome back viewers, Sage here live from the Calkine Studios and you are watching the Mid-Market Pulse. Let us now look at more ASX stocks which are creating the buzz today. The tech firm Dots Nano dropped 4.5% to 32 cents despite signing a Dots Test Kits distribution agreement with the United Arab Emirates based Hygiene Links and the company entered a distribution agreement with the United Arab Emirates based Hygiene Links International General Trading LLC for its COVID-19 detection technology, the Dots Test Kits. 
Let's now take a look at the next company, AVZ Minerals. The Mineral Explorer reported that it had completed the upgradation of the JORC estimate for its Monono lithium and tin project. And as a result, the project will now transition into the development phase. And moving on to the last ASX listed company in our list today, PYC Therapeutics, a biotechnology company, announced today that it has entered into the next phase of preclinical development for its product, VP001, its lead candidate to treat retinitis pigmentosa type 11. And moving on in the final leg of our show, let us focus on the global equity market performance. The Asian markets were trading mostly lower in the opening trade on Wednesday, tracking the weak cues from Wall Street and China's Shanghai Composite was the worst performer in the region, falling nearly 0.6%. Japan's Nikkei was also down 0.3%, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng dropped 0.6%. In a similar trend, Taiwan's weighted stock index fell over 0.5%, while Singapore's Straits Times traded marginally higher. And meanwhile, Sol's Cosby was down 0.3%, while New Zealand's benchmark S&P NZX50 was down as well, 0.2%. In the overnight trade on Tuesday, all the three major US markets ended lower amid the renewed worries about interest rate hikes following a spike in inflation. And the Dow Jones fell 0.31%, while the S&P 500 lost 0.35%. The Nasdaq Composite settled 0.38% lower. And thanks for joining us on that report. That is all for now. Stay tuned with Calkine TV for more live market updates and we will be back with more news on the markets, economy and diverse themes and sectors. Sage signing off.